This is a graph of deaths, man-made deaths from war, starting at the beginning of the 20th century. And you notice the First World War takes us up to about 6 million deaths in one year, 1918, I suppose. The Second World, there, there's the Spanish Civil War, that beep in the middle, actually the smaller one, the smaller one right there. And then the Second World War, the most destructive war in human history, 15 million deaths in 1943, partly from the Holocaust, partly from the, the, the actual battles. But then something very curious happens. In 1945, deaths, man-made deaths from war drop to a low of around 2 million and pretty much stay there for the rest of the 20th century and up to today. Now, there are various speculations about why major war seems to have been abandoned at least. And I think the only one that's really credible is that nuclear weapons made the kinds of wars that, that, that blighted the 20th century no longer possible to fight. The dream of the 30s was that aerial bombardment would be a sufficient deterrent to stop war, but it wasn't destructive enough. The bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki implied a level of destruction that seems to have convinced even as belligerent a state as the United States or the Soviet Union or any of the other belligerents of the 20th century that they would their own nation would be destroyed if we or someone else tried to destroy an enemy. There are arguments on both sides, and I, there's no way to prove it one way or the other. But as history, as time continues, if world-scale war truly has been ended, I think it will be because we finally discovered an explosive that basically is infinite in potential scale. Uh, we're left then, today, all these years after this little war that was so hopeful and so sadly uh, scotched those hopes, we're left in, with a world where, on the one hand, we're living a much more peaceful world. A couple million deaths a year is nothing to be proud of, to be sure, but it's four million fewer than die from smoking. So we found, a, we found an inoculation, if you will, but the other side of that, of course, is that if the bombs go off, then we will have destruction on a scale far beyond anything that this graph depicts. Even it turns out a small regional nuclear war, say between India and Pakistan, would produce sufficient smoke and soot from burning cities to cause a drop in average annual temperatures worldwide of about two to three degrees, which is enough to reproduce the summer without a, the year without a summer of 1816, when the volcano Tambora caused the, the sun to be darkened enough to cause hard freezes in New England in July. So we live in a very different and ironically more peaceful but more precarious age than these people did. And I think perhaps the last thing I would say is it's probably a lot harder to be heroic. Mm -hmm.